Yeah, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Uh, this here is Tuesday, December 18th, 2018, V-Blog number 2489. Hey, you know what? I got a happy friend anniversary shout out to Shenandoah Roberts. So, happy friend anniversary to you, Shenandoah. I know there's more girl names than there are guy names in the Shenandoah family, but hey, it's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't think it matters, though, because we're all Shenandoahs and we're all glad to be them, aren't we? Alrighty, alrighty. Hey, I'm going to check out the, uh, that's Facebook for anniversary, by the way. Anyway, um, how about the weather? Uh, about tonight's weather is uh, here in St. Charles, Missouri. It's going to be uh, partly cloudy. Um, yeah, that's right. Uh, some clouds low, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Wind south southeast of 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then a mix of clouds for tomorrow. And sun in the morning, followed by cloudy skies during the afternoon. Highs around 56. Degrees Fahrenheit, winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow evening at and late night, you've got cloudy skies early with showers later on at night. Low around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 40%. But then Thursday, December 20th, we're going to have cloudy, slight chances of rain. Showers, highs near 44, winds west to northwest um, at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Later on throughout the night, we're going to have cloudy skies, lows 29 degrees, winds north to northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wrapping up the week, on Friday, we're going to have, is Friday, sunshine along with some clouds, uh, Intervals, highs 39 degrees, winds north to northwest at 10 to, 10, 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then Friday night, uh, partly cloudy, lows near 27 degrees. And hot winds, light and variable, around southwest, west to southwest, around 5 miles per hour. How about Saturday? Saturday, we're going to go ahead and give you Saturday. Um, a few clouds early, otherwise mostly sunny, high it's near 49 degrees Fahrenheit, winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday night, partly cloudy, lows near 30, winds north to northwest or west to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Alrighty then. Hey, that being said, let's see what we've got going on around town. You know, we've always got something going around around town here in St. Charles, Missouri. Mostly down on Main Street. That's right. Something always going on down on Main Street. Well, we've got the uh, nightly readings of uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas. That's right. Don't forget. Don't forget to come down to the reading of tonight, Twas the Night Before Christmas on uh, Wednesdays and Thursday nights. Uh, is that right? Yes, Wednesdays and Friday nights, sorry, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., taking off every 15 minutes with the story. Uh, they will be performed by the characterization of Clement Clark Moore, so come and enjoy the story, Twas the Night Before Christmas. And if you can't get in on the first 15-minute show, come on in and wait, wait around and take the next 15-minute show. Uh, you can't come in because seating is uh, limited. So you can go ahead and take your time and visit around Main Street with the rest of the uh, uh, Christmas Traditions players. That's right. The rest of the Christmas Tradition players. <laughs> They're all avail available here in St. Charles, Missouri. Well, I'm going to have to tell you, it's like this. I can't seem to find a list of the uh, characters that are down on Main Street. And the reason I can't seem to find a list of the characters that are down on Main Street is due to the fact that they uh, uh, 
my computer's on the fritz. I keep getting this, uh, what is it called? Uh, this application failed. Uh, fash, fash, F S H O S T E R 32. Whatever it is, it's a Windows thing, but whatever it is, it won't let me download anything, won't let me look at anything on the computer, and so therefore, every time I try to get a list, it kicks off about a 500 windows, start opening up, over and over and over they start opening, and so I don't get anything, so therefore, I can't give you a list of the characters, I get the Sugar Plum Fairy. Uh, I get, um, uh, Jack Frost, uh, Santa Claus is from around the world, Charles Dickens, the, uh, um, St. Charles, uh, City Walslers, um, their singing group, the, uh, um, uh, different folks like that, but that's about all I can get for you, sorry. I'd really love to be able to give you a whole list of folks that are down there. But that's not going to occur, so looks like uh, it's not going to happen. Alrighty, let's see if we can't destroy a song, or at least break one down for you. Alright, here we go. How about the gambler? On a warm summer's evening, on a train bound for nowhere. I met up with a gambler, we were both too tired to sleep. <sighs> so we took turns to stare out the window at the darkness. And the boredom overtook us, and he began to speak. He said, son, I've made a life out of reading people's faces, knowing what the cards were by the way they held their eyes. So if you don't mind me saying, I can see you're out of aces for a taste of your whiskey. I'll give you some advice. So I handed him a bottle, and he drank down my last swallow. And then he bummed a cigarette and asked me for a light. And then the night, that night got deathly quiet. And his face lost all expression. He said, if you're gonna play the game, boy, you got to learn to play it right. You've got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be Time enough can't win when the dealing's done. Every gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away and knowing what to keep. Cause every hand's a winner and every hand's a loser. And the best thing you can hope for is to die in your sleep. And when he finished speaking, he turned back towards the window, crushed out his cigarette, and faded off to sleep. And somewhere in the darkness, the gambler, he broke even. But in his final words, I found an ace that I could keep. You've got to know when to hold. No when to fold them, no when to walk away, no when to run. You never got your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. You've got to no when to hold them, when to hold them, no when to fold them, when to fold them, no when to walk away. And no when to run, you never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Well, I tell you what, I tell you, I think I'm going to just go on ahead and jump on into the daily bread and uh, go ahead and uh, 
get on over there and do that on account. Well, hey, you know what? It's going to get too late in the day for y'all to enjoy this thing. So anyway, here we go. Uh, the Great Awakening uh, is our daily bread uh, devotion for the day. Uh, I'll be reading Deuteronomy uh, 34, 1 through 8. And if you're keeping up with your Bible in the year, which I hope you are, you'll be reading Obadiah and Revelation 9. Here we go, uh, Deuteronomy 34, 1 through 8. The Death of Moses Then Moses climbed Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab to the top of Pishgog. Now across from Jericho, there the Lord showed him the whole land from Galilee to Dan, all of Naphtal and the territory of Ephraim, and Manasseh, Manasseh, all of the land of Judea, as far as the Mediterranean Sea, the Negev, and the whole region from the valley of Jericho, the city of Psalms, and as far as Zoar, Zoar. And then the Lord said to him, This is the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, when I said, I will give it to you, your descendants, and I have let you see it with your eyes, but you will not cross over into it. And Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in Moab. As the Lord had said, he buried him in Moab in the valley opposite Beth Peor. But to this day, no one knows where his grave is. Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died, yet his eyes were not weak, nor his strength gone. He, the Israelites grieved for Moses in the plains of Moab, thirty days until the time of weeping and mourning was over. And there you have it, thirty-four through one through eight. There you go. Deuteronomy 34, 1 through 8. Alrighty. Now I've got one more song for you, and that would be, Well, goodbye, my friends, it's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello. And how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are.